It was cool. I liked, I actually like going to that school because I always remember the playgrounds being awesome. And then I came back to it like years later, they changed it. I was like, it's not the same. It's not the same. I went to Branch Elementary and my most fond memory of that would probably be like finding good friends and uh, who I'm still friends with today and just becoming someone besides myself having a group of friends I could talk to and hang out with. What about I went to Oshad Elementary. That I got like three reading medals and then I always got perfect attendance. I remember my class being really close. We're all still like kind of friends here. And um, one of my biggest memories is was I was in resource mm -hmm. and they really helped me improve my writing and I ended up winning like writing contests and stuff in elementary school. And so that was like a really big thing to me because I really needed help, so. My favorite memory from Napomo would be Destination Imagination with Mr. Walton, the principal at the time. Um, I think probably my best memory is that I was a part of the production, the student production crew for our morning broadcast, which we called the Falcon Broadcast. Um, and that was a really wonderful experience for leadership and for learning technical skills. And our little team of elementary school students for that got invited to go to a technology conference in Palm Springs with a bunch of high schools. Um, and that was a really cool experience. I really loved our advisor, Mrs. Hopkins, and um, that was a really, I have very fond memories of that. At Grover Heights was just, it was a great place. It was really close-knit and uh, I remember learning long division in third grade, I believe, and it just, it was like a foreign language, but the teachers just really worked with me and they didn't give up and eventually, I mean, I made it here. <laughs> I really liked Dorothy Ling. It was a brand new school when I went in fifth grade and all the teachers were really good and the campus was pretty and I just remember having a lot of fun there. Um, it's when my sixth grade teacher, she taught us a ton of rhymes and different songs that help us remember mathematic equations. So like, for example, we had like a triangle one with a Q obtuse and just some right angles and then we had all kinds of different songs and I still use them to this day because I still remember them all from the rhymes and they're really helpful. I would have to say at Napomo Elementary having Mrs. Foreman um, in her class we did cooking and science experiments besides just the regular school stuff and it was really fun. Uh, well my fifth grade teacher was Mr. Regan and I believe he's retired now but when I was in his class every Friday we would do these little uh, brain game competitions for cookies that his wife always made <laughs> and they were delicious and so there was quite the motivation to uh, win all these challenges and it would be something like name eight words that have four vowels in them, at least four vowels. And they were just little things but it built up our vocabulary and it built up our critical thinking skills and things like that and all I remember of course is the cookies but it turns out it was actually really helpful. <laughs> I think uh, my best memory from Harlow would be being in Miss Hubert's sixth grade class. She really pushed me to go the extra mile in school and from there my grades went up and she really was a turning point in my education. Um, we always did like group projects in sixth grade and then like the winner of that group always got to go get a uh, jack-in-the-box for lunch and it was, <laughs> awesome. yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, I went to Nipomo Elementary. And what do you remember most about Nipomo? I went to the sixth grade science camp. Was that and, cool? Yes, it was so fun. <laughs> Uh, probably the dodgeball tournaments we'd have at break or lunch. Those are pretty fun. Where did you go to middle school? I went to uh, Mesa Middle School. What's a good memory from there? Uh, probably dodgeball that we had there too. <laughs>